All shape components have become more popular recently, but not all pick and place manufacturers are offering the full range of feeders for these components. With our new Arc SMT PHD feeders, you now have the possibility to easily run these components on your standard C plus X and S6 placement machines. We will show you these feeders running on a C plus X3 after a short introduction. By now, we have three types of feeders available, which you can see here on our feeder trolley. The radial tape feeder, the axial tape feeder, and the multi-tube feeder. You will find more detailed information in the video description, but we would like to give you a brief overview now. The radial tape feeder is available for 12.7 and 50 mm tapage. Easily changeable tool sets will allow to run a huge variety of components on the same feeder. Tool changes can be done within less than 10 minutes. The video linked in the description will explain this procedure step by step. Standard tool sets are available for components with a lead span from 2.5 mm up to 22.5 mm. The body size can be up to 30 by 20 mm in diameter for round components and 30 by 26 by 20 mm for rectangular parts. Of course, special toolings are available on request and need to be discussed case by case. Here on our trolley, you can see an off standard application for components with a lead span of 27.5 mm and a body size of 31 by 11 by 17 mm. As we will see later in our video, even this component can easily be handled with a standard seatless nozzle. The XL tape feeder is available in two versions, for standard tapes up to 65 mm, as well as for white tapes up to 105 mm. This feeder can also be adjusted for different components on site, like the radial tape feeder. The maximum component size for the standard type you can see here is 20 mm length by 9 mm diameter. The white one is able to handle components up to 40 mm length by 90 mm diameter. Here on our axial feeder, you can see a standard application feeding a diode with a lead span of 10 mm. To securely pick up components like this, we recommend to use a gripper nozzle that grabs the component's body and pulls it off the feeder. If you share your application, we can help you to find the right nozzle. The last feeder we want to talk about is the multi-tube feeder. This feeder allows to load a certain number of tubes and will automatically feed one after the other. This minimizes the operator intervention at your line. Empty tubes will simply drop out on the bottom of the feeder. The tubes can be refilled without stopping the process. The feeder type shown here can handle tubes up to 45.7 mm width. In this application, we feed a relay with a size of 20 by 15 by 15 mm. All our feeders can be used on standard seatless trolleys without any modification. All you need is an additional air supply on your machine, but ASM offers a retrofit part for this purpose. Even if our multi-tube feeder looks a bit bigger than the others, you can still use your feeder trolley as usual.